And it is a heck of a matchup. Don Fry, who won UFC number eight, taking on Omri Batech, another of the greats from Rio de Janeiro, and a late replacement for Marco Huas. Here's the tale of the tape. Fry is three years older. Fry is four inches taller. Fry has a 25 pound advantage and it is America against Brazil. Classic matchup. Both are grapplers. And it's Omri Batesh from Rio de Janeiro. First UFC, the reigning international jiu-jitsu champion. Trained by Osvaldo Alves. His interpreter and co-manager, Sergio Montero. Co-manager is Tom Huggins. He is from the Carlson Gracie School. He used to be his trainer. He fights and represents the Carlson Gracie Academy. His discipline, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, without a doubt, he's the classic Jiu-Jitsu uh, artist, but he is more aggressive than the other Brazilian fighters is what they came right out and said. Said he will strike with his hands and with his elbows. Obviously, he's going to be great on the ground. A closer look right now at Omri Bitech. I am Omri Bitech, Jiu-Jitsu fighter of the world. I'm here to win. There's a good look at Batesh. More aggressive, he says, than some of the other Brazilians. Likes to punch, throw elbows, got a lot of ground technique. He is from Rio de Janeiro. And his opponent was simply awesome in his first appearance in the UFC. He ran the table in UFC 8. He's managed by the beast, Dan Severn, trained by Russ Harris and Steve Owen. His strength and conditioning coach is Becky Levy, the silver medalist in the World Games at the 1987 Women's Olympic Weightlifting Division. His name, the Predator Don Fry. He wrestled at Arizona State, Oklahoma State. A former firefighter. Don Fry considers himself a grappler, a wrestler, but you know, he's a former pro boxer and he knocked out several guys at the last UFC. He is a competitive wrestler, he's good at takedowns, and uh, he will strike on the ground. In fact, he won two of his bouts that way. Don, the Predator Fry from Sierra Vista, Arizona. I'm Don Fry, the returning Ultimate Fighting Champion. I'm returning tonight to retain my title. There can be only one. He sees himself as a combination of Marco Huas and Oleg Tiktarov, and there's his opponent. Very calm and comfortable at the interviews we had with him yesterday, Omre Batech. Let's go to the G-man, Rich Goins, for the formal introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the competitors for our fifth bout of the evening. A 27-year-old fighter, he holds a second-degree black belt in the art of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with black belts in judo and Muay Thai, five foot nine, 185 pounds, Brazilian and reigning international jiu-jitsu champion with a record of 150 and one. From Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Amore Butte. Butte. And his awesome. opponent, fighting out of Sierra Vista, Arizona. A second degree black belt in the art of judo. Former pro boxer and Greco Roman wrestler. 30 years old, 6'1, 210 pounds, undefeated in the octagon. The reigning ultimate fighting champion, the Predator Don. Call a Magnum UFC. Okay, Bruce. I love I love this matchup. We have an expert ground attack specialist in Patech. Fry, a great grappler. So how is Patech going to get him on the ground? And if he does, it's probably going to be, I think, with Patech on his back. On the feet, Patech says he can punch. We already know Fry can. Here we go, baby. Are you ready? Well, I see. Uh, well, let's get it all. The ground attack will probably be the catch. 
Oh, they lock up pretty good. Well, he's definitely more aggressive than the other Brazilians we've seen. He said he would be. Elbow by Fry. Patesh hangs in there. Patesh has him up against the back of the house. Open it in, open it in, let's go. Look at this grapple on their feet. A knee by Fry. Boy, this is a lot of energy right here by both these guys. Who's gonna go down? When and who will be on top when they do go down? Patech wants to get down. Fry doing a great job of staying up on the feet. He'll let Patech push him right into that fence and use the fence to keep himself upright. And you're not gonna take down a wrestler with a double leg from that distance. No, no. Fry's got the wrestling go, experience. Go, open the head, open the head. Patech and Fry locked up against the fence. Trying to move the battle away from it now. Fry lands the right hand. Uppercut by Fry. And there's not a lot of technique when they're inside like this. It's a little too close, but you know, he could be using knees right now. He could be taking out this Brazilian with a knee. Classic wizard position. Fry doing a good job, but he keeps giving up underhooks. I'm telling you, the where catch. he's at right now, that, that body is wide open. Oh. Some good punches by he's Fry. Stunned. He's stunned. He's stunned. Potechi is stunned. Fry might be the best puncher we've seen in this competition. He had him stunned, but that only lasts about a second and a half. He, he's going to recuperate fast here. Elbows, I think. There you go. The here it's it's classic grappling, but he doesn't want to fall into the guard. Otherwise, we're going to have one of these slowdowns, and that's going to well, let Potechi. I don't think Fry is going to slow down. I think he'll punch from this position. We'll find out how good Patech is in the guard now. Will Fry have room to go ahead and strike? The crowd chanting USA as Fry tries to unload a punch. A kick by Patech from the ground. Patech continues to move, continue to look for a better position as they get back to their feet. Open up! Hey, I'll tell you, both these guys have spent some energy. The, the knee to the body is so wide open here. If he threw one, that would be it. Patesh got landed with a right from Fry. Another oh, right by boy, Fry. These are trading. Oh, oh Patesh oh. is in trouble. Oh, there's a knee. Another one. Another one. He's wide open Watch for the knees. Patesh is wide open for the knees. He but, could be going to the groin, to the leg, to the body. He's wide open. Boy, Fry is just dominating. He has just pummeled him. Patesh is very bloody. Fry doesn't want to get down there wrapped up in a guard. A knee to the face by Fry. He should be using those knees and, and even the elbows from this position. Not the hands, the elbows. The Brazilians are great at relaxing. It's hard to choke them just by smothering. I wouldn't go for a choke. You can beat this guy with a strike. Here it comes. There it oh is. Oh my gosh. That's all he needs, another one. McCarthy is close by. Fry continues to pump on his elbows. Believe me, those little punches by Batesci are not having the same kind of effect as that forearm coming down. Way to work. Good He's Come in the on. guard now. He's got to be careful. This is a tremendous battle. And I, I, and I don't mean to discredit Fry, it's just that that's the strength of the Brazilian is right here. This is where the Brazilian is most dangerous. Fry, I'm sure, has trained in this Yes, position. but those elbows, I mean... He's oh, taking some punishment. Without a doubt, Fry is in control here. A lot of time to go, too. How much punishment can Batech absorb? Big John McCarthy is out there. He's right on top of it. And you can see that It takes Patech a lot of energy fighting. to hold on to Fry like this. And those elbows just coming down on his head. All he needs to do is get about four inches away and come down with an elbow to do damage. You can't do that with a punch, but you can do it with an elbow. Well, action has slowed once they get to this guard position. It's much more difficult to have any real effective strikes unless you can mount, and I doubt Fry is going to be able to pass the guard. Still seven plus minutes left in uh, regulation. And it looked for a while there that this is how you get this is how you get somebody to let go. He's gonna let go. He's not gonna be able to continually take these body shots in the same spot. There he goes. You see, he's letting go of Fry. The 
Fry spends a lot of energy here, staying up on the toes, driving forward. He was doing so well on his feet, you gotta question this tactic. Maybe he can't get out of it. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, he wants to be here. I think he's, he's here because uh, this is where they've ended up. If he had stayed on his feet another 10 seconds, he probably would have knocked Benici out. It seemed that Patech was, Patech. On, was in dire trouble there. Yeah, he was, he was reeling and rocking. But this allows him to regain his poise. There goes the mouthpiece. Let's go work it! That Not sure you can call this rest, but certainly the level of activity has dropped off substantially. But they are still working hard. Fry still hammering away at the body. Now I saw some open hand strikes there by Fry. He may have hurt his hands. Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. And a restart, get off, get off. a restart goal go by John McCarthy. Go go well, it could be a good break for Fry in the fact that on their feet, he's superior. He's cut. They're going to check the cut. Patesh has cut pretty good. He didn't even know which way was his corner there. No, he's pretty much uh, going in and out of it at this point. This has by far been the biggest, the fastest the pace we have had. Got We've had there. more action in these few minutes than many fights have through their duration once the guards employed. These guys are great. This has been a, a tremendous battle so far. Evenly matched, about the same size. One's favorite on the ground, the other's a little bit better striker on the feet. So far, Fry. With that grappling defense, it really helped uh, you know, keep the touch off. Absolutely. Ba just basic wrestling experience. But Tetch is a warrior. Corner now, let's go. You ready? You ready? How much let's get it going. Tetch have left because Fry looks much fresher. Six minutes to go in regulation. Fry's back on top. Fry looks oh, much he's, fresher. He might be able to pass, but see if he leaves his arms behind here, this is where it gets dangerous. Oh, there, oh, oh. Big elbow by Back Fry. of the head. And Bateshi didn't like that. He got right out of that. Patesh is showing the will of the great Brazilian. But those elbows from Fry, he cannot take those all night long. Talk about cuts, he's going to have them. The mouthpiece is out to breathe, too, so he is exhausted. I'm sure Fry is feeling it. There's been so much action, and this isn't a discredit to them. They're in great no, shape. Both Just of the, them. Level, the level of the pace has been so Good high. Job. There, there job. was no feeling out, period. No, not at all. This was straight out. Oh, there's, there's the there. elbow again. There's the oh, elbow. Oh, man, those, See, those elbows are oh, brewing over. Oh, you can feel it. Oh, it's only, they're only inches away from him. Short. It's, it's what I've said all along. Those short elbows, even against the grappler, all you need is three inches. Now you can see Fry taking a blow here. He's pulled himself back, kept his balance. I think he was few. just taking a little breather. Oh, yeah, you can't throw punches constantly. It's sprinting. You just can't do that. I don't think he's going to be able to submit with that key lock. Maybe he's using this to, to think Patech or set Patech up with coming back with another hammer strike. All he needs is a few inches to do damage with those elbows. Oh. Another They're going to stop elbow. this fight They're soon. Have to soon. The cuts, the cuts. Come on, let's go, let's go, Don. Doing good. Come on, come on. You know, I heard they were talking about the uh, the fists that they didn't like the, the punching, but uh, the hands do the least of damage when it comes to strikes. Good, old, good strike. Let's go. Fry continuing to dominate. At this point, he could be using those elbows to the body. There he goes. Let's go. Let's go. You would think if you caught one oh, get it up, on a rib bone, boy, it would be get difficult to breathe. Let's go, let's go. Get it up, get up. And McCarthy again, looking for a restart. He's restart. almost got to uh, pick up. I don't up. think he's got the energy. Patech. Patech is uh, looking exhausted here. I'm no, he's, sure. he's taking a beating every time. It's the same story. He gets on the bottom, he takes the elbows. I don't know how much more Dr. Richard Estrigo will allow. It's cut good. How you feel? You want to go? What is he saying? More? More. He's saying more. Look at him. He's got the will of a fighter. He's he looks hurt. He's saying more, but I'm not sure if he's still realizing where he's even standing at this point. I think his heart I mean, is look incredible. At him. He's, he's but leaning forward even in that yeah. stance there. He is. He's, he's he holding is. on to the doctors. <laughs> he's Let's very, go. very fatigued. He's taken a tremendous beating tonight. I don't think a fighter should be able to say sometimes that he wants to continue, because sometimes he just doesn't know, but they're letting him go. I think the doctor said if he's down and takes any more, he's going to stop it. That was his parting words to McCarthy. He looked at him and said if he's down, he wants him out. 
So he can't even take a good uh, take. Oh, a knees to the top of the head. Again. And you see the disadvantage of wearing pads. They can be grabbed. He's grabbing out the fries shorts as well as his knee, knee sleeve. 330 left of this one-sided assault by Fry. He's grabbing, but these are survival tactics. And that collapse was one of fatigue. You just saw it slowly sink down. The catch hanging on here, but I think this is all Fry. He's a tough guy, but it's just how much of a beating. There it goes to his back, the elbows, the body. Same spot. Three minutes. He's going, going for a knee. The knee. Tape. He's going for a knee again. And there's nothing Patech can do to stop that knee. Now that knee is just finding the head every there time. It is. Every, there's nothing he can do. This All he's domination doing is by Fry here is total. Domination. Is total. On the feet, on the ground, strikes. I think that should do it. I think that's, that's it. it. That that should do it. Good job, Doc. That's, that's it. That's, that's, it. It. that's, it. that's it. That's it. about all the beating uh, he could take for one night. McCarthy did a good one thing of the here. Matches in UFC history. The winner from Sierra Vista, Arizona, Don Fry. What a war this one was. 9.30 of punishment. That potential's a tough guy. Oh, what a heart he's got. He just pressure. didn't have enough to stop Don Fry. Tremendous medal by Vitech. Tremendous offensive showing by Fry. Well, that definitely proves that uh, the UFC that Fry won was no fluke. He's here to stay. I, I think that.